FIT is a powerhouse for rising fashion, and I'm back to see what the new school year has brought in. I kinda wanna look like Victorian time traveler, like sick little boy. But where do fashion students get their inspiration? And most importantly, can I find a fashion student to style me? But what do you think? You look like a magician. <laughs> so I locked all my clothes away in a suitcase and headed to FIT in my oldest high school t-shirt to find out. But first, I wanted to learn where fashion students got all their fabrics. Sup, Colt? <laughs> What are your favorite fabrics? I love like corsets and corsetry. Mm -hmm. And I haven't made one in a while because I've been so busy with school. But uh -huh. like, this is perfect like stiffness. I mean, it's cute though. It's so cute though. I would totally wear a skirt like this. Right? Yeah. If you want to pay $500. Oh yeah, no. My birthday's coming up in October. <laughs> they require you to get swatches for different projects. And they don't like give you any like funds or money so that you can buy? No. Excuse me. I know. Excuse they already me. tuition. Okay, no, like, by the way. Get swatches too. Let's do a swatch haul. Okay, I have a metallic cloquet. Quack? Quack? I don't know. Textured chiffon. It's like crinkle. Ooh, Gen Z e girl material. <laughs> fancy bandages. Fancy bandages. Mm -hmm. I'm making a fancy bandage dress. Hi, my name is Angelina and I'm a fashion design major. Amazing. You look so good. I got the Doc Martens on. I thrifted these for like $26. Love up because of like rain and shit but like it is yeah. what it is it's okay so are mine oh my god wait we kind of like the same ones yeah we kind of do that's so funny that's so funny i uh thrifted this skirt and then i safety pinned these parts to have a little drapage going on so that you can see Beautiful. the shoes better and this corset is actually i'm pretty sure it's from amazon but don't quote me on that just because i didn't buy it um my friend did and she just gave it to me Thanks. most of my rings i get from thrift stores or just like little tourist shops uh -huh. like these two are from tourist stores this these two are from the chelsea flea market Thrifted, tourist shop, and then this one was a gift. Makeup. Oh, my makeup. Ah! Yes. <laughs> Check the makeup. What was your inspiration for it? How did you do it? I wanted to go kind of gothic emo look today. It's gel eyeliner and yeah. black eyeshadow. I've been wanting to try to get more into makeup. Like, I'm so bad at it. I just, like, slap on some eyeliner yeah. and just, like, call it a day. So, Honestly, like... like you just, you just have to, like, play around with it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because I don't really, like, practice makeup, per se, but, like... Any day where I'm like wearing like a cool outfit, I'll be like, okay, what can I do to spice this up or like tie in the look of something else? What's your name and what's your major? My name's Emily. I'm an FBM major. This is a slip skirt I thrifted in Bushwick cool. for like a dollar. And then these are just pins and pearls that I just did myself. The socks are from the Sock Man in East Village. Shoes are my beater loafers from Steve Madden. Corsets from Trash and Vaudeville in the East Village. Oh, I've heard of Trash and Vaudeville. I need to go there. And wait, what about your earrings? Earrings I made myself because I just have a lot of trinkets and uh -huh. I like to wear them. What's your style inspiration? A lot of like the Riot Girl era, a lot of punk, but also mixing in my own personal style where I like a lot of flowy and girly garments. A lot of people assume down in the comments that like, fashion students were rich or you need to be rich to go to fashion school. Do you think that's the case? No, I am broke. Um, <laughs> I pay tuition out of pocket myself. I pay my wow. rent by myself. Whoa. My parents do not support me whatsoever. I feel like you have to have a drive to go to fashion school and like the effort to like want to do it. You don't necessarily have to be rich. There are trust fund students here, but yet they're still like, I don't know how to say like in a respectful way, like those students, they aren't as driven as much as students who like really want it. I got you. <laughs> you look amazing. Can we like go through your outfit? My pants are Forever 21. Dress is thrifted. The necklace and cardigan is my mom's. I love that you put like the chain on top. Thank you. Cause there like are actually necklaces and I like tied them. That's totally something I would do because like I keep modest, so like I love belly chains. So like yeah. that's such an idea that like I would do also. Where's your hijab from? Um I don't know. You don't know. <laughs> what is it like to be modest in today's fashion industry? I feel like it gets hard just because some clothes are like constructed in like more revealing ways. Oh my god, <laughs> girl, tell me about it. <laughs> yeah, so it's like you have to layer, which I love layering, but yeah. in the summer, like, Oof, yeah. I'm dying. It's really just how you put it together, you know, your perception too. Like, you just gotta do what you gotta do. Girl, give it here. <laughs> <laughs> this is Saul. We've just been bothering him to be in this video. <laughs> Martine Rose, safety belt, my friend's pants. Nice. Mihara, backpack I made. Oh my god, wait, you made that backpack? Yeah. That's so cool, dude. I would totally wear something like that. Thank you. Hello. What's your name? Jess. First of all, I love your teeth. Oh my god. Those gems. <laughs> my boots are Doc Martin. Love. And the skirt Imagine. I got at a garage sale. Cute. Um, this is thrifted. This is from Spirit Halloween. 
and so are my gloves. Okay, wait, question about Spirit Halloween. Did that place close? Oh, no. It's not? I love it. So it's, it's still open? They, like, change locations, like, every year. So whatever okay. they could find to put their store in. Do you know where I'd be able to find the location of Spirit Halloween? You can go on their website and put in, like, a zip code. And then it will show you if there's, like, locations nearby. At first I was confused where people were finding actual clothes to wear here. But then I got the hang of it. I've been, like, wanting to try to rock a top hat. But what do you think? <laughs> you look like a magician. I saw someone wearing this, like, on the weekend. And I was like, this is actually super cool. How much are they? Oh, my God, they're so expensive. They're like 15 bucks, but I want them. They're so cute, I want them. I'll just like show you the ones that I would totally get if I like was not broke. These are cool. They're like fiery. So many fishnets. Oh my God, my sister would also be in love with this place. Star pattern. Mm, I can see why FIT students shop here. <gasps> Wait, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God, they're so cute. Oh my god, they're so cute. Oh wait, they're not that bad. They're like $7.99. I think I want them. I think I'm gonna get them. I'm gonna get them. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna buy them. <laughs> Bye. Okay, so I just wanna show you these gloves that I just got and oh my god, they are so cute. I feel ready to do anything right now. Like build a standing desk. So I actually did just get a standing desk that I need to put together. This one in particular is from FlexiSpot. Also FlexiSpot is sponsoring this video. Thank you so much. So honestly, I've been wanting to try a standing desk for a very long time because I work from home and I literally spend hours at my desk just sitting hunched over a computer and it is so bad for my posture. FlexiSpot desks are completely customizable. You can choose the color of the desktop. You choose the color of the frame. I chose a 48 by 24 bamboo desktop with a white frame because I feel like it matches my current room. There's actually a control panel that you can adjust to adjust to the height. There are three stages of adjustment. I love that feature because I am a shorty McShort shorts and usually nothing is adjustable to my height. So I love that I can adjust this to my standing height or my sitting height. but I built the desk. Having a standing desk is a great way to keep moving, but if you also get tired, you can actually adjust it back to a sitting position. And I particularly love FlexiSpot because of the quality of the materials. Everything is so stable and it doesn't shake no matter what. You can check out FlexiSpot in the link in the description below. I want to thank FlexiSpot so much for sponsoring this video. Anyway, back to FIT where I definitely don't look as cute as this right now. I want to try to see if I can find an FIT student who can style me later today. What is your name? Sarah. Nice to meet you. <laughs> and what's your major? Uh, fashion design. This is Moda International. Everything I get on eBay. These are mech denim jeans. Uh, they're also falling apart a little bit, but I think that's what it's all about. And your shoes? They're so cool. Um, these, I don't know what brand they are. They're just vintage. And your earrings? Uh, what are they? What am I wearing right now? I don't know. <laughs> Probably like old Target or something <laughs> from so like cool. middle school. I am looking for someone to style me later today. Would you have time? I have work later. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's totally okay. Thank you so much. I'm feeling so starstruck. No, why? <laughs> I watched like almost all of your videos probably. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh my god. Introduce yourself. What's, what's your name? Um, hi, I'm Anuka. My major is footwear and accessories design. This, I like thrifted. It was a belt. I just cut it. Also thrifted. Literally everything is thrifted. So uh -huh. it's like probably like an orthodox brand and I thrifted it. It looks like an orthodox yeah, brand. Yeah, it literally does, right? <laughs> No, I mean like no the dude, this is also an Orthodox brand. Yeah. Whatever. This is Estes. Which one's yours? I have no idea. Okay. I just like got it at the first shop. They were thrifted and then I just like drew all over them and I had to wear them because you were coming and you always say this at the end of your videos. So when I like drew them, the embrace your misfit. <gasps> when I drew them I had to like I had to write it because you were coming. Are you flipping kidding me? She wrote Embrace Your Misfit on her shoes. Wait, 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 yeah, are you I've been oh my like, god? Jewish stuff on my shoes. Like Jewish stuff and then like K pop stuff. Dude. Like, What's your name? What's your major? I'm Sonia Park and I'm from FD. I got a tank top here. Top of it, I just slightly put some t-shirt on it without one arm. <laughs> That's so cool. I've never seen that before. I love that. Where are the cargo pants from? C-A-T. Shoes is from H&M. H&M. Yeah. Nice. You look so good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Woo. My name is Yujin and I'm in fashion design. This is just like a punched nib with a lot of holes and I just got like the low rise pants with it. Do you know where you got it from? Oh, I actually bought this everything from Korea. Do you still know what brand? It's just like an internet brand, like mm. just going on. It's not very large and Korea has a lot of like internet brands from yeah. like places. So yeah. Maybe like Black Up. 
Yeah. Welcome. Cool. Okay, because I want to go to Korea soon. So like, oh. and, and your shoes? Oh, this is from Uyongmi. Uyongmi? Yeah. Okay. It's a Korean designer. She's like go super famous in Paris and Europe, and also she's famous in Korea too. But while I was meeting a lot of lovely people, finding a student to style me was proving to be difficult. No worries, no worries. It's okay. Until. I really love your outfit. Would you mind being in a YouTube video? Yes. Yay! I'm Devin, and my major is FBM. Amazing. Okay, and so can you walk me through your outfit? Sadly, most of this is thrifted. This skirt dropped down to here, but I cut it. The shirt is thrifted as well. I forgot what brand. I want to say Primark. Like one version from Amazon. And then I have black Air Force Energy today. Cute! And the black Telfar. The black Telfar. Black Ooh, AirPods. So I can black out everyone. <laughs> and I want it to just accessorize it with gold jewelry so I can bring some like color to it. And your hair, who did your oh, hair? I do my own hair. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. So I bleach and I dye my own hair. I do everything myself. Oh my God. Everything. Yeah. Dude, you're so talented. I try. One last question. Okay. I'm looking for someone to style me today. Okay. Would you be interested or do you know anyone who would be interested? Let's see. Hmm. Do you want to style someone today? What, seriously? Who style me? Me. In what? Like the clothes that I brought in my suitcase, and that's it. You want them? Okay, real. Yo. Partnership. Partnership. Yes. Seriously. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Wait, what's your name? Sean. Sean. Nice yeah. to meet you. What's your What's your major? Menswear. 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 Okay. You're You're dressed pretty simply, but let's go through your through your through your outfit also. Thrifted. Thrifted. Also, Converse. Wifey brought me these. I. Yeah. Black South Pole. Pole shorts, uh, sweatshirt from my uncle, cream tote. Calm nice. day, calm day, calm day. Calm day. Mm -hmm. And then the nice earrings over there. Oh, these also, I'm not sure what exactly stone it is, but also by wifey. So. Oh, well, you dress pretty dope. I'm excited. I'm excited. <laughs> Hey Devin, um, so normally I'd be totally, totally cool with that, but the thing is that Colt, my filmer, has to go after a certain time, and I think 6.30 is a bit late for him. So, Colt has volunteered as tribute. Yes. If you guys don't know Colt, he's actually a filmer for Kelly Mukasa. He also has his own YouTube channel. You should absolutely check that out. Appreciate it. How would you describe your personal style? My personal style is pretty boring. We got, you know, basic essential tea, Solid colors, basic AF1s. This is like the most color difference right here. I think you're gonna do an amazing job. I'll try my best. I think that can be your portfolio to get into FIT. Mm. Yeah, that's, yes. always, that's always been your dream, right? Yes, this is my portfolio reel. So we're just kind of working with my uh, Europe suitcase. This oh, is wow. not, yeah, this is not my actual suitcase. This is a suitcase that my friend lent me. You know, you're just gonna pick whatever you like. Grandma dress from 2017 that I thrifted in Goodwill. Grandmas are lit. And a skirt. It's a collar. It's like a poncho that doesn't work. It's a vest. It's, yeah, I actually got it in the men's section. <laughs> Is it half vest? It's a half vest. Okay. <laughs> it's so funny seeing you go through all my stuff. I've never seen stuff like this before. I have my, what do you call it? My final fit, I think. <laughs> okay, no to this. Okay. We're gonna go with the 1940s dress. Okay. Layered with a Ooh. stay in love Oh my! T-shirt. Oh, I also oh wait, can you tie this around your hair as well? Absolutely. Wait, I also have these shoes. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is a fire outfit, actually. This is gonna be good. I'm scared. All right. What do you think? <laughs> you know. I, I have not really been able to see myself. Is there like a mirror here? Yeah, right over here. Um. <laughs> actually, okay. I did my best. This actually is super cute. I never would have thought to like put it in my head. I think the tote and the boots match perfectly. I would give you like a five out of 10. I'll take it. Thank you. My first, uh, first, what do you call it? Styling. Fit. Anyway, that's the end of the, that's the end of the, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And, and embrace your misfit. Embrace your misfit.